Well this is a short video concerning the uh, the stand motor or the uh, radial piston engine that I was given and um, how it's been a bit of a initiative test to get it working because it needed a glow plug system, electrical system with a rather strange battery that um, my colleague in uh, AVO UK got me uh, fuel system. It uh, is running at the moment on a run-in fuel which is a nitromethane nitromethanol mixture with castor oil which um, smells like the old racing motorcycles. But just briefly I'll show you the workshop and uh, where all this system was put together and where we uh, finally got the engine working. Well of course the workshop is in fact the garage. Um, there's the engine on its frame. The frame was originally built uh, to support uh, a large clock which um, is owned by my daughter and um, which came from an old clock tower. The, uh, the actual mechanism is a very early electrical clock um, which I completely rebuilt. The original was built in about 1914 and uh, when it's working it's quite an amazing sight. Clearly there's no room for the car. I've uh, got a small lathe and uh, a milling machine with various attachments, uh, proper cabinets and my current project is for a steam locomotive um, which has been slowed down by work and uh, other things at the moment but um, the wheels are made and uh, the frame's just about done and since I hate hacksawing I've treated myself to a mechanical hacksaw Okay, well we'll try and get it going. Uh, hand starting it is almost impossible. Uh, you'll probably lose your fingers and the compression simply bounces back. So this is a 12 volt geared um, starter which I've connected to a motorcycle battery. and it's uh, driven by a rubber cone. Next thing I have to do is to connect the glow plugs. And then to prime the fuel by closing closing the choke. Okay. Rich in the mixture.
So, what do you think? Mm. The uh, castor oil is the lubricant, it goes through the cylinders and it's blown out. So, um, you get a lot of blue smoke and oil vapour and uh, if you're running too rich on the screw, uh, when you run it in the dark you get blue flames coming out of the exhaust. <laughs> it's a hell of a machine.